असित गिरी समम जलम सिंधु पात्रे सुरतरुवर शाखा लेखनी पत्र मुर्वी लिखत यदि ग्रहीतवा शारदा शर्व कालम तदपितो गुणानामीस पारम नयाती एवरीथिंग इन दिस यूनिवर्स इज अबाउट एनर्जी एंड एनर्जी इज सो डाइवर्स दैट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड हियर इन दिस श्लोका that the kind of energy is the qualities of energy is cannot be described even if you want to write on the whole of earth making the earth as paper now if energies are so diverse we say only two types of energies and that also i fail to understand why there are two types good energy and bad energy and this good and bad is always relative something what is good for me may not be good for you something what is bad for me may not be bad for you so we have to go beyond bad energy is adverse energy is good and good energy but energy is energy and now how can we understand good and bad energies as i said energy is diverse and it is available to us from the universe at different frequencies and the moment you start matching with the frequency of certain kind like if your frequency starts matching with my frequency then what happens we start feeling connected okay some energy is flowing through you some is flowing through me and some is flowing through everybody but unless the energy flowing through you and through flowing through me matches in frequency we will never feel connected now if they are exactly into the opposite directions matching not matching and not at all matching then what happens i met several people for example and they say i don't want to meet this person at all my younger brother used to say i used to send him to a person when i was young and he was also very young and then he went there for two times three times four times and then he said to me bro please don't send me there i said why what is the reason did he say you something He says no he did not say me anything he is very nice to me the moment i go he offers me a cup of tea and but i don't know why i don't like him at all so sometimes we fail to understand why you start liking somebody and why you do not start liking somebody and the reason is frequency now this question has come from an honorable person who is my disciple and she says this is a very nice thing and that thing is i am chanting at my home i am chanting at my office i am chanting in my car on the mountain top in front of a river but i do not get satisfaction 
And what happens when I come to your place, when she comes to my place, I get satisfaction immediately. Now, I asked her whether it has happened one time only or you are feeling it again and again and again. She says, no, I have come to your place at least four or five times and every time I come and chant there, calmness level is different. My connection is different. My meditation is different. My yoga is different. Anything and everything I do is different. What do you do in your ashram? What do you do at your place? Nothing. I absolutely do nothing and I am nothing. But it's not me, it's you. The energy present in you is craving for a spirituality. And what you are doing? Treating somebody, healing somebody, teaching a little yoga, teaching a little tantra. And doing a little physiotherapy. But the inner frequency present in you is about a spirituality. So the moment you meet a spiritual person, the moment you meet a spiritual environment, everything starts happening for a good reason. And what is that good reason? That this frequency of universe, this frequency of spirituality come and matches the frequency of your wisdom present inside of you. The moment that happens, you start feeling good. You start feeling connected. And when you start feeling connected, you get a feeling of satisfaction. You get a calmness in meditation. And therefore, it is being said also that Whenever you want to meditate, when you, whenever you want to practice spirituality, you have to learn to live in solitude. Then, otherwise what happens? Several frequencies are crossing each other. And when you sit in solitude, your inner frequencies tries to match with the frequency of the universe and energy gets connected. The moment energy gets connected, you start feeling connected and you start feeling happy. That's so nice of things. But what if I do not feel connected? What if I, it is not possible, Guruji, for me to live 365 days with you in your ashram? I have to be sometime at my home, sometime at my friend's Olivia's place, sometimes at some other disciple of yours, and sometimes I want to be on the mountain top in front of the river then what happens, why I'm not feeling connected and what shall I do so that I start feeling good even at those places. So what you should do? Number one, take the distress out. Take the stress out from you. Have optimistic attitude. 
and you understand that the energy of guru energy of spiritual ashram which you are feeling is not place based it is connection based so when you come and meet me and are very close in the ashram spiritual environment you think that you are closer here in this energy field but this energy field is not restricted to a place if you go in front of a river close your eyes sit there and conceptualize that you are in the ashram in that energy field itself and with a little practice it may not happen immediately nothing happens in this world immediately but with a little practice you will see that the kind of environment you are missing in front of the river bank on top of the mountain and at your home it starts coming there and some people have said me i see whenever i go in meditation i feel very calm and am able to experience the ashram in my meditation how and why some says i don't know what happens but the moment i go into meditation you are available to me it's not i am available to you it's that you have found a way of connection beyond places beyond the dimension of distance and time and then what happens that anywhere you are sitting you can develop your energy level in such a way that you can start connecting with the energy of your ashram energy of your guru and most importantly energy of the universe and energy of source source energy is present here and source energy is present everywhere in the universe there is no place where it is not present and if we connect to that energy of source then place is not a problem okay whatever you experience outside of this world everything is present in you the only thing is that outside things i experience with my open eyes and inner experiences are when we shut our senses and that is why in in yoga before the chapter of meditation starts there is another chapter called conceptualization and sitting anywhere in this world you can conceptualize any place of the universe in your mind and the same thing you will start experiencing inside of yourself and that is what is needed that is what is called connection and now question comes guru ji how do i do that the energy level can be enhanced by three four methods number 1 chanting guru mantra number 2 chanting seed mantra chanting enhances your energy to a very high level and 
meditating on that energy meditating on something meditating on nothing meditation also helps you attain that energy and then what connects you to the energy of your choice are two pranayama two types of pranayama what are those omkar and bhramari i hope you understand what i mean by omkar and bhramari if you do not then i do it once and you can understand it see omkar is like this this is called omkar okay this will help you connect with everything and second is called bhramari just try to see bhramari also and i explain it to you these are if you continuously do them your mind becomes calm and starts connecting with the source energy when you are connected to source energy connected to your chanting which you are doing every day then you will slowly see that you are able to experience your ashram anywhere you are you are able to experience your guru in your crown chakra anywhere you are physical presence may not be necessary and chanting makes you come closer to source energy come closer to even guru's energy okay and anyone who is initiated must make a practice to do their chantings every day at least an hour a day and this will start making you connected a person who has asked the question i would like to tell you that if you are connected and continuously doing your chanting regularly then there is no problem in your connection at all you will be able to feel this energy in your crown chakra always problem is that two days you practice third day you leave fourth day again you think that no oh, what i did i have done a mistake i need to practice more now energy you know what energy is energy has got three different forms fire is energy electricity is energy and sun is energy and 
you see energy have you seen electricity it has experiences you cannot see but you can experience it and it is flowing through a wire if it continuously flows okay your computer will work and it will be able to do everything you need but the moment connection breaks what happens when connection breaks everything shuts off and therefore you are creating energy by chanting you are creating energy by meditation if you do it continuously the flow is there and your connection remains but what you do you cut the wires time and again and then what happens when you cut the wire time and again every time you cut the wire you have to restart your computer and you have to start practicing from beginning once again and therefore you are not able to feel guru's energy you are not able to feel source energy in your heart and in your crown